All right then, it is now time for celebrities to run for cover and hide as Sunday night sees the start of what looks set to be a massive new TV show. It looks hilarious. Um, Head Cases is a spitting image for the 21st century, a satirical take on celebs, politicians and other famous figures. And it stars the voice of one of our first guests, uh, Mr John Coleshaw. But before we speak to him... Uh, hello, good morning to you, John, by the way. Hello, before hello, we speak, hello. Let's take a little look at his vocal cords in action. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Now, that was you there as Blair. That was Mr Blair, yeah. You know, okay. wide smile, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> See, John, do you ever get a sick of it? Because we obviously know that you're as an impressionist as well. Whenever you go out, do people just come out and go, oh, do the... Oh, now and again, yeah. Some, you know, do Aussie, do George <laughs> Bush. You know, people call after you like that, but it just makes the day a bit more chirpy. But that it? advert that you did with Aussie Osborne, it was brilliant. I spent the whole yeah. time trying to work out which one was the real Aussie. It was good. Now, I was going to ask you, because you were involved in Spitting Image, which, of course, yes, was the satirical right, publishing yeah. show back in the 80s. Mm. So you must have loved it when you heard about this new show coming out. Yeah, I suppose it's always going to get compared to Spitting Image because of the Sunday night time slot and that there's uh, political satire in it. It's quite different to Spitting Image. Spitting Image with the grotesque puppets was mm -hmm. almost like uh, a Punch and Judy show at times, the way they'd thump each other and everything like this. But with the CGI animation, the, these uh, caricatures m look more like more like aliens. Yeah. And it's got a, a slightly different feel to it. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, the, the the incisive satire is, is all there. Yeah, I mean, in fact, we're just looking at it there. Look, that's the making of it. It was quite oh, a technical yeah. thing to do as well. Obviously, how long did it take to create the show? I think uh, they were making the preparations a long way back. You've got to put all of the caricatures together and get a whole sort of raft uh, of, of the characters you're going to use. And then once you've got that, then you get into the writing and then um, the technology of the animation and the lip sync, once all that's up to speed, uh, the technology as it is now, you can do this kind of stuff uh, on a fairly fast turnaround and get topical material in, in a way that you couldn't do before. Now, as well as your good self, there are lots of other very talented voice artists oh, involved yeah. in this. Tell us a bit about some of the other people. Well, there's a cast of thousands in, in, in this, rather than just have a team of, say, five or six people. I think that, you know, there's, there's dozens. Some people just... There's a fellow who comes along and just does David Cameron um, and uh, a fellow who does David Beckham and so on. Uh, it's, it's quite rare that we actually sort of work in the same studio. But uh, I know Rory Bremen is involved, uh, Lewis MacLeod and Katie Brand, and so it's, it's quite a good team. that's the thing, when good spitting laugh. images around, there's some... People that have gone on to develop oh, yeah. a career mm. themselves were doing the voices, so oh, yeah. it's good that this is happening again. Yeah, Harry Enfield and Steve Coogan and John Thompson, Alistair McGowan, you know, you all saw their names there on, uh, on Spitting Image. Now, I know that uh, your skill is, is very good, great skill, but you've also, you've misused it in some ways, John, haven't you? Have I? Prank phone calls and that <laughs> sort of thing. Have you, well, have you got a favourite thing that you've done? It's childish, but it's funny. <laughs> I, I always like the Ozzy Osbourne phone calls. Cause, uh, Ozzy Osbourne just puts you like, in, a, in, a, in a happy mood. You know, I remember the advert you were talking about, and he'd look at the script and he'd say, I, I don't normally say stuff like that. How would I say it? You say it, uh, and then I'll say it like, like, like you did it. <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's all good fun, you know. Um, I remember, uh, you know, phoning up Tony Blair as, as William Haig. That was one thing. And um, I don't know. I, I just want to find the number of the White House and uh, get through to George W. Bush before he goes. Oh, I think that's my favourite impression that you do. Yeah, George, uh, well, I think you've absolutely got him pinned down. He's just such a silly little sort of squirrel, isn't he? <laughs> in a sense, you know, with that kind of. Uh, <laughs> you can't help yourself, though, can you? It must be so. Because we went, we met up in Antigua a few years oh, ago, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And we were sitting having lunch, and literally every few minutes, you just kind of <laughs> naturally started talking like Hank, Bush or something. You, like. you two yeah. met yeah. in Antigua yeah, for we lunch. Did. Yeah, yeah, we did. dropping that in. Yes, we did. <laughs> Oh, dear me. We live a showbiz life, <laughs> don't, don't we? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, look, thank you very much for coming in Pleasure. this morning. It was really nice to see you. Mm -hmm. And the show starts on Sunday. Sunday night. And it's going to be great. I love the fact that Beckhams are in it and oh, yeah. Wills and Harry and Judy Dench and everyone yes. else. They're all being... They all get it. <laughs> they all get it, <laughs> exactly. John, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Head Here's cases. That. Sunday night, head cases. Don't miss it. OK, um, time to take a break now, but still to come, and I'm excited about this one. Hollywood legend and megastar Donald Sutherland is going to join us right here. And not only that, hear what David Tennant and Kathleen Tate have to say about the new series of Doctor Who starts tomorrow. Plus, we've got more going on than a fight with Naomi Campbell. Oh, is that possible? It can't be. <laughs> we'll try. Where's my luggage?